Creating a More Sustainable Lifestyle. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 129. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 129, September 13th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week. And if you like more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the next 25% of the written content for the Social Relationships lesson plan to the website. This brings that to 75% complete, as you see here. We also wrote the final 25% of this lesson plan behind the scenes, bringing the written portions to 100% complete. And we completed and added the first 50% of the mind map for the social relationships lesson plan to the web page. And you can see that mind map here. Finally, we featured the quality and quantity lesson plan across our social media channels using this image that we created. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source Casa Banana Hub. We also researched and added one new Brussels sprouts recipe to the open source Cold Crops Hub and added preparation information to the open source Maca Hub. More recipes from our food self sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of these individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new delicious recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Hub. These recipes are banana strawberry breakfast pie, beans and greens pasta salad with white balsamic vinaigrette, and sweet potato gorditas with fresh salsa. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued revision two of the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week's work included finishing the narrative for the compass used to create the ideal dome curvature, adding additional compass parts to the tutorial, updating the AutoCAD image, and rewriting the narrative to include dimension specifics. We'd say we're about 20% complete with this final revision behind the scenes. We also updated the Tropical Atrium Planting and Harvesting Hub with the 3D Interactive from Giberto of the Graphic Design Intern Team and additional edits. Behind the scenes, we finished new updates to the paths and plants, the tropical atrium in 3D, and we finished this Earthbag Village render update with the updated central ring layout and the new toilet and shower dome roof designs. 
We also finished the redesign you see here of the central layout for the Straw Bale Village, Pod 2, Central Seating. This layout meets American Disability Act requirements, adds a family seating area, and also a view of the central fireplace and stage from the kids' playroom. In addition to this, we created this initial design for what will be the Straw Bale Village chimney that can be separated to make room for use of the central area as a stage when not in use as what we're designing to be a biogas-fueled fire pit. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week we finished updating the walking pads and living dome floor, plus the living dome bathroom appliances and floors on level 1 and 2. We are counting this as another 3% of progress to bring us to 48% complete with the total 3D update. We also continued working with Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, to develop version 2.0 of the Control Systems and Automation Survey from last week. What you see here is an example of the initial data and feedback we've gathered with this survey and will be presenting to the public in the next couple weeks. In addition to this and behind the scenes, Mike Hogan completed the first 50% of a complete rewrite and update of the control systems page. Here's this work in progress. Last but not least, Gabriel combined his own work with the work of Flavia to create a furniture and interior design process book. What you see here are some of the pages from that book covering furniture, interior design, and other specifics for inside the city center. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team finished the final updating of all the past weekly progress blogs to match the rest of the website that's been updated to be mobile friendly. This last block of about 10 hours of image, video, and text reformatting finally brings us to 100% complete with the entire website update. Oz Zersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, also helped us further update our website terms and conditions, consultant and volunteer agreements, and NDA. All of these updated documents can be read and downloaded from the Legal Documents and Processes page. Last but not least, Vasily Bizarov, writer, poet, and translator, also helped us translate our Fulfilled Living page into both Italian, which you can see here, and Russian, which you can see here. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. Creating a more sustainable lifestyle is something that more and more people are becoming interested in every day. And one community is here to facilitate, assist, and accelerate that process through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for Highest Good Living. Highest Good Living that covers all aspects of sustainability, including the physical aspects of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, as well as the emotional aspects of sustainability, which we define as Highest Good Education, Highest Good Economics, Recreational Activities, and Fulfilled Living uh, Models, as well as True Earth Stewardship. Putting both of these things together to create an evolution of sustainability that we think that most people will find as a way of living that is superior or better to the way, than the way that they're living right now. Our idea is that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this way of living as attractive enough, that the idea will spread on its own. And so the ultimate expression of everything that one community is creating is first, the prototype that is one community to be built as a teacher demonstration community and hub that people can visit and experience. And if they like what they see, if you like what you experience, if you like any aspect of what it is that we're doing, you'll be able to take the blueprints, the tools, the resources, and the do-it-yourself instructions and duplicate it on your own. Everything from growing a specific type of vegetable that you can't get in the grocery store, to building a home, to building a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, anywhere in the world. And we're here to create a global collaboration of people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that creating a more sustainable lifestyle is possible on a global scale. Not only possible, but possible within our lifetime. And so we're bringing together people with that consciousness that want to help 
to create that. The people that believe that it's a worthwhile adventure, a worthwhile venture, a worthwhile adventure and venture that is something doable, realistic, and worth putting their time and energy into so that we can create this, so we can get this ball rolling at the speed and rate that it's capable of rolling to create this self-replicating process because we think that if true global transformation, positive change that will in fact affect everybody on this planet, if that's really going to happen, it requires a virally replicating model. And we think if we can make that, if we can demonstrate a living model that and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, that's how we'll accomplish this. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we invite you to join us. We've got lots of different ways to get involved. The easiest of which, of course, is also just to share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We're on Sue, we're on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we're on Reddit, we're on Tumblr, we're on Pinterest, about 15 other social media networks, Facebook, to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information that we have and to share the information that we have so we can get the word out and we continue to build and grow our team of all nonprofit volunteers working to create a better world for everybody. And people ask, of course, what's the number one thing that one community needs right now? We are still seeking large-scale funding to get the property that we've been working with now for five years off the market. It's still on the market, but we don't own it, so we can't disclose the location. So if you or somebody that you know knows somebody or are a person with the resources to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to help invest in one community, we'd like to speak with you. This is the next big step for us. It would multiply the size of our team by being able to expose the, to be able to share the location and, and to be able to share boots on the ground and the next steps of open sourcing. It would multiply our open source process a hundredfold, a thousandfold, eventually 10,000 fold as we continue to move forward, take everything that we've designed behind the scenes now and start doing it on the ground and building that way would allow us to bring our team together and multiply our productivity exponentially. And it would lead to a place that people can visit, a place that people can experience so that they can come and see what one community is all about and if they like what they see to be able to duplicate it. So, creating a more sustainable lifestyle is possible for everyone if enough people want it. If enough people want a more sustainable lifestyle, we can reach that tipping point. And this is what one community is all about. Br building that bridge between pragmatism and idealism with open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources so people can take these resources and create a lifestyle that most people can't even imagine right now. This is how we're creating a more sustainable lifestyle for everybody. So, as always, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the small donations that we get, the $5, the $10, the $20. None of us are paid, and so all those donations help to go uh, help go towards running our website and running our nonprofits and the, the expenses associated with running an organization as large as ours. And, uh, of course, thank you for following our progress. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you'd like more details, more specific links to everything that has been talked about in this video, as well as the backlog of 120-plus additional updates, you can visit our written blog. Thanks again for following our progress, and, of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.